Hey, how you doing everybody? My name's Anthony and welcome back to Jenny Lucklew. And we just snuck out the window of uh, Susie's house on top. Yep, yeah, there goes the crow. There's a nice moon in the background though. But uh, we have to sneak across the town in this episode and get back to Jenny's house to get back her, uh, all of her detective stuff. Once we get all that back, we can help s save the mother. Jenny paused oh. at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. Some big crystals right there. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. But navigating the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Oh, the we'll lake for that. Was, was, like was, su that, was suicide Jenny your option? Was gone. Her first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. Nice arm strength. But uh, that did not look like a lake. That looked like a whole ass ocean. <laughs> Very rough waters for a lake. Beautiful. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna break your ankles. Oh, or your face. Nobody wake up, please. That would be very nice. Beautiful. Good job, Jenny. Proud of you. Now we, all we have to do is steal their boat. What's that sound? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, I, I guess that's what it was. Problem solved. True believer, I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. CJ's at you. A curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? I'm thinking CJ, to be quite it's honest with you. The killer. But it was far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. I don't think she's listening to you, Finkelstein. I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. Alright, let's go get murdered. The SS Susie. Oh, what dedication to their kid. See? That's how you tell they love their kid. The SS Susie. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. This is getting across the lake in no time. That'd be cool. Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. Doesn't matter. They're just borrowed for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. Exactly. Of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, nobody trusts anyone these days. There must be some other way to start the engine. I don't know, what would that be? Here we go, I'm gonna hotwire it. Ooh, a sticker. I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. Yeah, you tell them, Jenny. Are you just unscrewing these with your fingers? Oh, nice. I figured you'd have to just find a screwdriver somewhere. Oh, nope, guess not. She, Jenny's resourceful. Oh, oh, always the last one. Foiled at the last moment by a rusty screw. Oh well, time to turn back. There's only one screw left. I can just pry the panel back. There you go. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. Very carefully. Very carefully. Wow, looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says, a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. Yeah, if you say so. Oh, I did it. I, I, did it. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Jenny had found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. 
she pulled out her journal and plotted a course. Let's go for a little joy ride. Now, that's always nice to have a skull in the middle of the lake. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. How oh, home sweet, how oh, home. Oh. Let's go. You know how to drive a boat, Jenny? Hopefully you do. You know how to hotwire one, at least. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. She thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after curfew had its benefits. Oh, I bet. Oh, we're going top down? All right. Uh, left shift accelerate and WSD. Okay. Let's watch out for the buoys and rocks. That's all you have to look out for. That's a lot of rocks, though. Just very care very carefully navigate your way through. Wonderful Jenny! Okay, there's artwork here. Is that a whale over there? Why is there whales in a lake? I told you this was the ocean. Skull Island, home to an abandoned lighthouse. And an oh. excellent sandwich shop. Hit a buoy. Commissioned over a hundred years ago, but the light mysteriously continued to illuminate the darkness. Pinklestein, I'm trying to focus here. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go in with the whales. <laughs> Damn. Nice. I would like to know why there is whale whales in a lake, though. These are questions I need answers. Giants. This must be the place. Yeah, looking back on the note, that makes more sense now. Whoa, that was huge. I have to get a closer look. Um, did I like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Putting on a show. The big motherfucker's gonna come out now. There he is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, the whale's just red. <laughs> The elusive red herring, a rare and fantastic it, I, sight. How, how big is the herring? They really exist. Jenny had always believed they were a fisherman's tail, but seeing them firsthand. She's so beautiful. I guess it's not a whale. Stuck in her scales. It was a bottle. Oh, I missed. How did a red herring get this big? Must be a bunch of radiation in this town. There you go. in a bottle. Curious. Old fashioned. I am the voice of reason. I walk amongst the sunken ships that once sailed through the glowing mist. It's another clue. This case just got more dangerous. Jetty had no idea who was behind these messages. Yeah. This could be an elaborate trap. Doesn't matter. Or it could be the answer I need to prove my mom's innocence. I just don't think it's CJ. The best course of action was to go back and get help from an adult. No, I have to see where this leads, on my own. Sunken ships, glowing mist. That should be easy to spot. Thanks, fishies. I'm. A, I think I'm. I think I have to go back to the lighthouse to find this next clue. It's the only place I can think of where the mist is glowing. Oh no. Is this the sunken ship's part? Right here? Must be. Yeah, it is. Thing. I must be heading in the right direction. That you are, Jenny. No one ambush me, please. That would be very appreciated. And here we are. Jenny navigated carefully through the thick fog. Oh, it smells like rotten fish. Many ships had lost their bearings here. Grounded on the ragged rocks, swallowed by the lake. Swallowed. Maybe I could shed some light on these ghost ships. Sensitivity so high for this thing. 
Yeah, there's one. And there's two. All the spirits are coming back to life. Ooh, bottle. There it is. Ah, uh, get it. Yeah. Another message. This is starting to feel like a wild goose chase. <laughs> yeah, they're just toying with you. Probably CJ wanted to feel secure. I am the hope in darkness. I sit in a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock, I move alone. What's with all these cryptic messages? And where are they leading? I should get out of here before I turn into a ghost. All right, what was the clue? I wasn't listening. The hope in darkness set on a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock, I move alone. Yeah, that's obviously the lighthouse. Okay. Easiest one yet. Oh, wait. It's not the lighthouse. Um, where's the... Where's the map? Not this one. Um, it's... I need to get to this thing down here. How do I get up to that? So it's this thing on the map. It's this round rock thing. That's what it is. Alright, I have to make it to that. It's not the lighthouse. <laughs> the lighthouse moves with the clock. Trying to throw me off your scent. And here we are, at the center of the spiral. About to find our third clue. The night grew dark and eerie. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Yeah, you probably are. It's not just a feeling. Well, aren't you ominous? Eh, be cautious around the crow. Nice birdie. What are you doing all the way out here? How rude. Now, what am I looking for? Just get rid of all the crows. Oh, this is this is probably going to be a hard one. To flash the bird, then flash the bottle, and that it's going to carry. About a murder of crows. Ha! It threw a rock at me. Oh, oh, that's a little bit more than a rock. That was not a rock. It was a crab. Looked like a piece of spy equipment. That is a whole lot of them. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll come back around, I guess. Here we go, here's the bottle. Really? Really? I have to go around again? I can't move the thing. Oh, I, I, I didn't even have to move it. I am the answer to the unasked question. I stand inside the crescent moon. Below death's gaze, I wait for you. I wait for you. This could be the last clue! So caught up in unraveling the mystery, Jenny failed to recognize how dangerous this chase really was. Who is waiting at the Crescent Moon? Whoever it was, our intrepid detective would need to be extremely careful. Crescent Moon, below death's gaze. Time to wrap up this case. Yeah, where is that exactly? Is this it? I'm in the middle of Bagel Bay, I think. I think this is the only place. Yep, it is. It's the only place I haven't been to yet. <laughs> there we go. The mystery is solved. Or should be, anyway. Hello? Hello, sir. No comment. Yeah, let's persuade him. I don't want to threaten him right off the bat. He might get, you might get mad. The are right behind me, and they're very angry. But I might be able to help you if you just talk to me. I don't think he believes that. Okay, if you won't cooperate, I'll, I'll have to come over there. Are you serious? Oh, it was just my imagination. Thank God. Are the real guys in the boat with you? The dark 
Get yeah. away from me, you maniacal murderer! What did you with CJ? Dogs bark loudest before the dawn. CJ? The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. It was early bird. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. The wind blows strongly from the east. There was definitely glass houses. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. The evening sky is full of fireflies. Uh, I can't remember what I picked for this one. I think it was goldfish. The absent-minded goldfish oh, yeah, swims it was. into the blender. Excellent. They Excellent. Haven't you yet. The notes were from you? I thought you were the Dean's killer. Why did you make me go through all that if you were already in the boat? This is the only place safe from their prying ears. Do you have pink eye or something? We have to hurry. This line isn't secure. Line? We're talking in person. Exactly. Now quickly, before they get a fix on our location. What did you want to tell me? Seriously? You can't keep doing this. You contacted me. Did I? Actually, I'm glad you did. I need to ask you a few questions about the Dean's death. Good, Jenny. Question everything. Trust no one. All right. Interrogation of CJ part two. What happened to your eye there, CJ? What happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? It wasn't a fight. More of a misunderstanding, really. A seriously purple misunderstanding. Well, you should see the other guy. Hmm, there's something you're not telling me. What's the Dean? Is that you killed them, punched you in the eye. I'll take that sticker though. And this art. Hey, your compass is working now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what happened to your compass? Before it was wandering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Yeah, it is working. Exactly. Do you see now? It's not a compass at all. So what is it then? Aliens! Aliens? What are you talking about? E.T. Extraterrestrials. Beings from another world. I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ. There's no such thing. What? No. Not you too. I'm sorry, CJ, but it's time to get serious. The Dean is dead and my mom's in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurton, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they aren't looking for. That's why I come here every night, to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can sense their presence where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what he's see okay, what all the fuss is about. I need all the help I can get. Good. You can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just remember, when the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. They were here before. They will return, and we'll be waiting for them. Uh huh. Yep. Totally. How about those drawings in your hand? Scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Arthurton in the library. Keep it. It's a great map. Very rare. Ripped it straight out of the town charter. First edition. Very rare. Come to think of it, only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got it all backed up in the cloud. What cloud? Did I say cloud? I meant head. So what do all those notes mean? Uh, shadow men. I want to figure out more Where's about the shadow men. Yes, you're starting to see differently. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. All right, I will keep searching. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for here. CJ, you want to help me out a little? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, more notes. Looks like it. Or is that more tickets? Oh, library card. <laughs> I know you're in the library the day Dean Strasbury died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did. Great. What happened? They changed the bathroom set from strawberry to pie. It was most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? 
I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Yeah, was there quite... anyone else in the library? No, uh, just the dean and I. Till I, uh, I, uh... Until you left. It's not like you to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I, uh, I lost track of time. I was late for an appointment. An appointment? Where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection. Leading the witness. This isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. They needed to learn. CJ, is this a confession? Well, you were going to find out anyway. What'd you do, CJ? CJ, did you murder Dean Strasbury? The Dean? Oh, no. But you just said... Good, Jenny. Suspect everyone. Even me. I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time. <laughs> but I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but do you have an alibi? That's why I left these notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, I need your help. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. <laughs> Risk being followed? Never! But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper. What did he write all these messages on? A newspaper. Alright, let's put them all together. Um, that goes there. I have no idea where this thing could be. That go there? No. Can I switch pieces? Yeah, I can. There we go. Let me do the bigger pieces first. I go there? No. Uh, goes here, maybe? There we go. Put this one... There. This one... Somewhere around here, maybe, or up here? No, let's do this one. And this one, this one's here. And this one is there. Uh, flip that. Beautiful. I knew it. You wrote all these messages on a piece of newspaper. <laughs> of course, that's the headline. Six clues in here. I guess you're just circling paragraphs. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of town, miles from the library. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she'd uncovered the truth of his father's death. Oop. That's the day of the Dean's murder. So is this his alibi? The front page was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. Sheriff Winston the Clue has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if he won't help her, I will. Yeah, that's right, Jenny. CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Krusty's bakery. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He'd lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They'd been friends ever since. Got a nice backstory in there. 3.55. Clearly the afternoon. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean. All the evidence is right here. Well, CJ is confirmed innocent. How can I prove CJ is innocent? Uh, definitely newspaper. Avocado Heights. And the clock. There we go. All points to his innocence. CJ was photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 p.m. on Thursday. Two minutes before the Dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. Nice. CJ, you're innocent! What a relief! But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. Every part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed. But I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Have you ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the Dean there. 
Widow's drop! No, but it sounds suspicious. Well, anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do. All the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. The truth is hiding right under our feet if we only stop to look. <sighs> I'm more confused than when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's job. Whatever you say, CJ. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watch. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. Damn it! I've got this. Don't worry. Ew. Now you're gonna sink now. God, Jenny. That'll buff out. Jenny headed east towards the Almost Done Bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the Forgotten Forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. So I'm going to leave this episode of Jenny LeClue here, and next episode we'll make our way to the bridge and through the Forgotten Forest so we can make it to Jenny's house and get all of her stuff back. So for now, arrivederci.